In today's video, I'm gonna do something a little different here than what I normally do for my other videos. So in this particular video, you're going to learn this one breakfast meal that can help you start your day right and be on better track to bettering your health. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out when I roll out some new content. So, I'm sure you've probably watched a lot of content, read a lot of content about health. And with health, we tend to get the concept uh, pretty mixed up. You know, we overcomplicate it so much that uh, it's actually really simple, more simple than you actually may think. So I wanna actually share a little bit of a story with you here. So a year ago, I wasn't actually taking care of myself you know, really good. I was making poor health choices. I was making poor food choices, especially. I was not doing any of this stuff that, um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but I wasn't doing any of this stuff that you see on this counter. And I remember uh, getting coaching on this uh, for how to actually, uh, you know, what I could actually do to start making uh, my health better and how I can make better food choices. And so I remember a year ago, I actually started off doing this every morning when I'm about to show you here. And since I've done this, this has not only helped me wake up and feel a lot more energized and just a lot better in general in the mornings, but I've also been able to better my health as a result. So what I'm gonna do right now is you're gonna see me actually make some green juice, which is a recipe courtesy of my coaches and mentors, Ace and Rich Guzman. So what I'm gonna do right now is uh, the first ingredient that you're gonna need is this green apple right here. So you wanna actually get a Granny Smith uh, green apple. I actually have some slices here already cut up. So I am actually going to put some in here. So that's the first ingredient that you need. You'll need one Granny Smith apple, just cut it up and put it into your blender right here. Next, what you'll need is, okay, you can do this uh, one of two ways. You can either use some uh, baby spinach or you can go ahead and use some uh, dino kale. What I actually have here is um, some power greens. So this has baby chard, baby spinach, and baby kale. So I'm actually gonna take about one cup's worth of these power greens, putting it into my smoothie here. And next, what you'll need for your green juice recipe is you'll need some coconut water. Now, I actually buy these in a pack, so just use only one of this and just pour it into the blender. Okay, so we got our coconut water in. Now, oh yeah, that just reminds me. Gotta turn the stove on because I'm also making oatmeal on top of this also. So we got our green apples, we got our power greens, we got our coconut water. Now, the next ingredient what we're going to do is we're gonna do some pineapples. Now, I actually uh, got an actual pineapple and I actually cut up uh, pineapples from the actual pineapple itself, but you can also get it uh, from your grocery store and actually get it freeze, and you know, you could just like get it cut and pre-made already. But uh, either way, it doesn't matter. All you'll need is uh, some pineapple. And for the pineapple, what you wanna do is you wanna get like a cup's worth of pineapple into your juice. And then next, what you'll need for your green juice recipe is some turmeric. Now, you need an actual turmeric root instead of uh, turmeric powder. So what you wanna do is you wanna get just one turmeric root, but you wanna cut it up. So you wanna make sure that you cut it up uh, to thumbnail size because this right here is actually pretty strong if you eat it by itself. So just make sure you only uh, cut up 
one thumbnail size of this turmeric root. So I'm gonna go ahead, get my knife here. Okay, so here's my thumbnail size of this turmeric root. So I'm gonna put that right here into my juice. Okay, and the next two things, actually the last two things of this uh, green juice ingredient. So I'd actually like to put this thing in my juice called organic cell wall chlorella powder. This actually contains uh, anti -dioc antioxidants, vitamins and minerals, and it's also a great detoxifier as well. So I actually get uh, just like one scoop of this. So it actually, so if you buy this online, this one actually has a small spoon included. So just only take like one scoop of this uh, chlorella powder and just put it into your green juice. Now last but not the very least, you wanna add some ice cubes. Now, it doesn't matter how much you put in there, but you could put like three or four ice cubes. Either one works well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some ice cubes in here. Okay, so now we have all our ingredients for this green juice right over here. So still see the water's boiling for the oatmeal. So I'm gonna turn my camera right over here so you can see what I'm doing. Let's see, get this right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and blend this in. So I put it right here. Now, the blender that I actually use is called Vitamix. You can actually use also a Ninja blender if you have one but either blender will work out great for making your green juice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mix all these together. All right, so now we got our green juice all ready to go and ready to drink up. Now let's head on right over here. You can see the wa water is already boiling already. So let me flip over here. Okay, so for this oatmeal, what you wanna do is you wanna get, um, you wanna get a pot to actually boil some water, uh, one cup of water. And then you wanna take some of these organic oatmeals, uh, cracked and toasted oats. So I actually got this from Costco. If you live by a Costco near you, you can actually pick this up for about, I would say maybe $6, $6 maybe. I think that's about the retail price for that. But if you don't have a Costco near you, you could also go out and buy some organic rolled oats oatmeal. Just whatever you do, don't buy the Quaker Oats oatmeal just because that's full of paste. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna grab a third cup of this oatmeal and I'm gonna go ahead some okay, so I got a third cup of this oatmeal right over here. Water's boiling right over here. And what you want to do is pour this in here. And now we're going to let this cook and stir for five minutes. So for this oatmeal, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and just mix this oatmeal up, just stir it occasionally until it's all cooked after five minutes. So I actually have the, the timer set on here on my stove and I'm gonna go ahead and just stir this occasionally. So while we're waiting for this to go, I'm gonna go ahead and pour my green juice in here. 
So you can actually pour your green juice in whatever jar you want. I actually just like to put it in this uh, this uh, jar right over here. Go ahead and do that. green juice here, all ready to drink, and now we're just making some oatmeal. So why do I suggest that you make green juice and oatmeal in the morning as opposed to having any other breakfast in general? Why do I mention that? I mention this because, yes, you probably won't feel it the first, time, the first day, the first time that you go ahead and make something like this for yourself, but if you do this over a consistent period of time, you have this green juice recipe I just shared with you just a moment ago, and you go ahead and make some oatmeal as well for yourself, what you're gonna find is you're gonna feel a lot better in the mornings when you wake up. You're gonna feel more energized, have more spring in your step. I mean, that's how I felt when I started doing this every day, and I still continue to do this every day to this day. And it's been a huge help for me as far as contributing to my overall great health that I have today. So we got about two minutes for this oatmeal. And as soon as that's done, that will be pretty much that. Oh, and what else to add to your oatmeal? So I'll get right into that. As soon as this oatmeal is done cooking. It's very important that you actually take care of yourself and look at what you're really eating because for all you know, the foods that you're consuming on a regular basis is actually contributing to how your body is operating overall and how your mental health is also. I mean, I remember when I used to spend my mornings just eating breakfast sandwiches, hash browns, eating out at McDonald's, and it just wasn't very good. I remember uh, that time and I remember just uh, you know just feeling uh, tired I was just feeling more you know less energetic just easily getting sick and all this other stuff and it's really important that you take a look at what you're eating and following this morning recipe this uh, breakfast meal to make for yourself this can be a great start to jump starting yourself to better health we got about, according to the kitchen timer, about less than 40 seconds. And that's time. Okay. We'll go ahead and get my bowl here. Just move my camera back here. All right. So I'll show you on camera, but I just finished making my organic uh, cracked oats oatmeal. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now is just pour it into the bowl. So you can actually add some other things to your oatmeal. What I actually like to do, go ahead and open up my fridge here. So I like to do a few things. So what I'd like to add to my oatmeal is some almond milk. I'd like to add some of these uh, organic hemp hearts, uh, hemp seeds. And some pumpkin seeds and flax seeds, uh, granola. You can add pretty much just about anything. You can also add some fruit in here. I've seen people do um, blueberries, raspberries on their oatmeal. I've also seen other people do just banana on their oatmeal and then some milk. But you can pretty much make this oatmeal however way you'd like, just as long as it's healthy and organic. So, I trust you got a ton of value out of this video. This was kind of a little bit longer than some of my other videos that you've seen me do on YouTube. But I wanted to go ahead and take some time to do this video because I wanted to share with you what has helped me better my health over the long term so that 
you can go ahead and start doing that yourself as well. Here's what I want you to do right now. There will be a link directly below this video on mindset transformation. I want you to click on that link, opt in with your name and your email, and I will see you on the inside. So with that said, this is Marcus Theo here. I want to thank you so much for stopping by and joining me on this beautiful morning here in California. I'm going to go ahead and enjoy some breakfast here before I go jet off to work. And I will see you on the next video very soon. Take care.